paddle Bimini. Five days until I paddle 80 miles from Bimini to Lake Worth. Um, and 30 minutes ago, I just got done with my last paddle before the big paddle. Uh, it was a nice, easy paddle, keeping the muscles nice and warm. Got to say one last goodbye to my friends before seeing them on the beach. It's a very exciting time right now. Most of the storms. We did get a little bit of rain, but not too bad. Skimboarding, I think, has definitely helped me like prepare for the crossing so much because it's taught me hard work and dedicating yourself to something even if you don't see anything in return right away. I started skimming when I was 15. I started competing when I was 16 because I was told that I was good and I should compete. Zap Skimboards came to me and they offered me to be on their team. Um, Zap Skimboards has just been absolutely wonderful and, and supporting me on the social media aspect too because you know they give me credit when it's due and they support and encourage me and they do it so the world sees it. And I told them what I was doing and I told them that I would like them to be a part of my journey somehow and they are sponsoring me. They're my big sponsor for the crossing. So they're the reason why I'm gonna be able to get the best nutrition I need, why I'm able to afford the trip and just doing everything and preparing. Family, and you guys are a part of it. 
And so I want to really reinforce that when we share this together, when we take off off this beach in a couple nights and paddle 80 miles back to Florida, you're part of something really special. But you're what makes it so special. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the crossing the greatest endurance event and community in the world. World class, baby. Thank you. Get a dinner and a show. hiding from us some key details about her fishing skills. <laughs> Sandbagger, that's all I got to say. <laughs> On the beach, um, it's kind of a blur just because of all the adrenaline in the moment and trying to be in that moment to focus yet realize everything else that's going on. Um, it, it was incredible, the, the darkness and watching the boats line up and everyone on their toes ready to take off. Uh, it, was, it was a lot and it was super exciting. was intense and then the horn went off and I'm like it is on all right let's go so um, got in the water got on my board started paddling out with my group and you know the other girls around me and my first thing was like I wanted to get out in front like I always want to but you know I just want to like just start off on the right foot <laughs> and um, so I was at 10 miles after the first hour and a half and um, I was feeling okay not doing bad and then like at like two hours I'm like my are heavy and I'm thinking to myself that like this kind of stuff it, it was really tough for a minute I was like okay you know it's in the middle of the darkness it's in the middle of the night no one else is around and at that point like I knew like this is the, the mental capacity that I've been training for that I was told that I needed um, so this is this is my fight right now, and I didn't expect my fight to be right off the bat. Hold up for a second. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. We're feeling good. We're on course. We got a little wind and wave action. Cross wave could be a problem, but uh, Casey's handling it. She's a trooper. pretty awesome to you know have paddled 80 miles and catch a wave in and uh, jumped off my board and just saw everyone on the beach that's you know been there for me throughout my whole like journey paddling and everyone's cheering me on and um, bringing through the finish line and at that point was just like relief I'm like okay I did it like we're good we're here 
And as soon as I get in, my friend, she was like, ah, congratulations, like you won. And I was just like, okay, cool. She's like, no, you won, you won. Like you beat all the guys. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't really believe it. So like, it's, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Like girls are so sweet guys, but I did. To me, um, winning the crossing, I feel like it's a lot for a lot of people. You know, it it's empowered a lot of women, which is amazing. Um, I never thought that I would do that. I've just kind of been doing my thing, and um, but being able to help empower other women and let them know that you know, like we can, like we can do this, we can do just as good, if not better. Um, you know, we, we have power, we have what it takes, um, especially in something that's physically demanding or dominated by men, um, and just kind of helping to show that things can be equal. Um, I've always wanted to beat the boys, whether it was skimming or surfing, like football throughout my whole life. I, I was always so competitive with the guys. So to me, it was super awesome. Um, to do it in such a big way and a way that was unexpected um, so I think I've kind of inspired myself too that I can keep pushing and I can go as far as I want to